This video will be dedicated to the mass storage application for the Flipper Zero. I'm going to benchmark my microSD. It's a microSD rated for 10 mega octet per second. So it's not a power horse, but it's not what we want here. We just want to have something that help us to send a few text notes when we do not have our favorite USB stick laying around. First option, select disk image, means you already have a disk image available that you want to mount. Here we're going to start with the beginning. So we're going to select the second option, which is new image. And we could define the size of the image we want. So let's go big and define one gig. One gig. I'm going to name it quickly. Now you have selected an image. You have a USB stick that is designed. And you could see how many bytes are read and written and the size of it. I plug the cable. And as you can see here on this Mac, you have a prompt asking you if you want to allow or deny this USB stick to connect. And I'm going to hit allow. And no, I have a second prompt, which told me the disk I have attached is not supported. Basically, it is because the partition is not formatted. So I have either three options I eject and I'm not going to be able to use it. I ignore, so I don't do anything. Or I set up to initialize, which I could like select here with the menu. But I'm not going to use this and I'm going to use the command line interface. I'm going to use the following command here. So still using disk util, erase disk, fat 32 we'll call it flipper and MBR format to keep as a MB to have as a MBR. Then I put enter. And we could see it's writing here and we have the speed. It's taking a while actually. Yeah. Finished. Now I'm going to move to the folder and start my benchmark. So I need to go to volumes. Then the flipper is here. And if I I have one gig available. Now what I will do is writing a 10 meg file. Reading is much faster. My last test was to mount the microSD from the Flipper Zero and the one gig image file in order to write file on it. And it was successful. And as a bonus, I wanted to see if I was able to use the Flipper Zero to host a bootable Linux distribution. And I've noticed Pavel made in 2018 a EFE file, but I was not able to use it. Let me know if it's something you are looking to have a Linux distro on your Flipper Zero.